Hi Darius. Hello Alexis. Love your hair. Thank you. I like your pink tie. My boyfriend gave it to me. He's so thoughtful. Oh I didn't know you were. Um. Gay. That's. Well. Great. We have been together for many years. Are you thinking of getting married? We would love to but the federal government won't allow us to. Yes. And Barack Obama's view on gay marriage is evolving. One of his senior staff said, We are looking at the tactics of how this might be done if the president chose to do it. And he repealed. Don't ask, don't tell. But you cannot get married? No, we can. Even though here in California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger signed into law the Marriage Recognition and Family Protection Act, SB 54. But it was discontinued November 5, 2008, due to the passage of Proposition 8, an amendment to the California Constitution that limited marriages to those between one man and one woman. Ron Paul says that a contract between two people is no one's business. And the federal government should have no say in the state's decision. Ron Paul? Isn't he a racist? A racist? Why no he isn't? Why do you say that? The media told me so. Oh really? The media? Yes. They wouldn't lie would they? Oh brother. Of course they do. Ron Paul actually is the only candidate that is against the war on drugs. He said, blacks make up 14% of those who use drugs, yet 36% of those arrested are blacks, and it ends up that 63% of those who finally end up in prison are blacks. This has to change. He says that we don't have to have more courts and prisons, we need to repeal the whole war on drugs. It isn't working. And, he also said, I attack two wars that blacks are suffering from, referring to the Iraq war and the drug war. Paul has also said, I would pardon all blacks, all whites, everybody that was convicted of non-violent drug crimes. That's amazing. I had never known that. Just that he voted no to Rosa Parks getting the Congressional Gold Medal of Honor. That seems racist, don't you think? Actually Ron Paul didn't want the American people to pay $30,000 for one medal. $30,000. Crazy right? Yes, $30,000. So during the vote, Ron Paul said it was wrong to force the public, many who are poor, to foot the bill for such an expensive thing. So he reached in his pocket and said, I will voluntarily donate $100 to Rosa Park, if all of you will donate too. He pulled out $100 and placed it on the table, but not one other congressman wanted to donate. Oh my! The news media never told that story. No, they didn't. And they haven't stated what he thinks of gay marriage. He thinks that marriage should be left to the church, the couple, and their friends and family. It's none of the government's business. Especially the federal government. That's great. Why do we need the government's permission to get married at all? It's none of their business. Exactly. That's why gays love Ron Paul. Really? Oh come on. Gay conservative group Geo Proud released a statement in support of Paul and the other politicians seeking the party's nomination. We thank Congressman Ron Paul for rightly making the case that marriage and family laws should be decided at the state level, not by the politicians in Washington. That is amazing. Yes it is, and, Gay Wired magazine endorsed him for president in 2008. There is even a group called, Gays and Lesbians for Ron Paul. This is incredible. I had no idea that Ron Paul was for us. Well, he is not for any one group, but says, I think the government should just be out of it. I think it should be done by the church or private contract and we shouldn't have this argument. Who's married and who isn't married? I have my standards, but I shouldn't have to impose my standards on others. Others have their standards and they have no right to impose their marriage standards on me. But if we want to have something to say about marriage, it should be at the state level and not at the federal government. Just get the government out of it. It's one area where it's totally unnecessary and it's caused more trouble than necessary. And the problem that we have with dealing with this subject is we see people as groups, as they belong to certain groups and that they derive their rights as belonging to groups. We don't get our rights because we were gays or women or minorities. 
We get our rights from our Creator as individuals. So every individual should be treated the same way. So it isn't the issue of homosexuality. It's the concept and the understanding of individual rights. If we understood that, we would not be dealing with this very important problem. Wow! This is incredible!